please. No, 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 no. You go. Welcome to a new chapter, oh, chapter if four. If you're just going to go. <laughs> yeah, I knew that was coming. <laughs> Nekomaru? Is that you? You already saw all this. Yeah, Nekomaru's a robot. You stupid stuffed toy! Don't go screwing with people's bodies like that! They're beautiful, glistening, oily bodies! Are you serious? He's going to shoot her again? She's going for it. Oh, oh he, he blocked her again. What a guy. Even though he's a robot now, if Nekomaru's killed, it's still going to count as murder, okay? Of course, it's possible that Nekomaru might kill someone instead. Don't say such foolish things. That will never happen. <laughs> the next person dies of laser wounds. Nekomaru's like, how could this have happened? <laughs> yeah. Do ultimate robots dream of clockwork? Wow. Do... What? <laughs> it's, it's a play on do androids dream of electric sheep. Right, but... But it's weird. It might be better if we investigate the ancient ruins again later. Hey, who wants to investigate the ancient ruins together? Just kidding, let's talk about useless bullshit for the next 30 minutes. What we should be most concerned about, as it relates to the Future Foundation, Isn't is finding shit out right now! We can go and look at things and examine them right now! Even a childish organization blathering about ending the world wouldn't accept someone like me. Nobody wants a worthless human like me to join their group. Oh. Guess I'll go fuck myself! And that's the reason why you're not the traitor? I don't understand your theory at all. Fuck. Then who do you think is the most suspicious? It's Chiaki. You think so? Yeah, because we like her the most. No, I hope not. What the fuck? <laughs> Behold! Nekomaru is crying. No, it's Jizz! Hardly I'm not crying. <laughs> My right eye dispenses it cola. It is cola. I was gonna say, it looks like a fountain soda. And my left eye dispenses Rebo's tea. Wow. I too was modified by Monokuma. I didn't used to have a poopy diaper, but now I do. But don't be depressed. You'll get used to it. It's surprising how quickly you'll get used to it. Like my poopy diaper, for example. <laughs> Please. A little talcum powder? No big <laughs> deal. <laughs> I'll kill you until you die for me, you stupid rabbit. Damn. That's an extremely violent thing to say to somebody with diaper rash. Oh. <laughs> 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 you showing up at this time means. Yup! Pooped him! <laughs> <laughs> Did you come to tell us that you've defeated another mana beast? Ta da! You're correct! Compared to the earlier investigations, I've prepared a special treat that's completely different than before! Hot dogs! Oh, he took the bait? I guess that's true. If you want to get her shut in out of their room, care to the bells. <laughs> Who the fuck cares about that? Hurry up and tell us about the carrots! <laughs> I've prepared a bunch of stuff you guys might find interesting on the new island, <laughs> such as clues about the Future Foundation. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> such as parts that may be useful for making a ship! Uh -huh. Serious? Are you for real? No. And also, your student profiles from your time at Hope Speak Academy. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> As I walked through the valley of the shadow of death, I started to see the scenery on the new island on the other side. Hey, that looks fun. Fuck yeah, dude! <laughs> <laughs> is this an amusement park? Hell yeah! It's like this whole island is one big giant amusement park! I immediately forget my, about my seven dead friends. Ah, it was supposed to be cute! My house was supposed to be cute! Ah, oh, you can't. I understand you're interested, but you cannot go inside! Even teachers have a private side that their students aren't allowed to see. Um. And it's safe to say that we're not allowed inside, so we're probably going inside at some point. We'll have to find a place to shit ourselves later. <laughs> yeah. It's Chekhov's shitty house. So it's a waste of time to stay here any longer. So check it off your list. <laughs> 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 I should hurry and go somewhere else. Uh, 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 what? Kia! Mash are the only thing I can't handle. Who cares? <laughs> wow. Jesus, Audrey. Come right out and say it. No, no, not my side of like them. Really? Interesting. No, not my side. are gonna chew through my ears. I dropped some brown. In the toilet. Making too many poop jokes. <laughs> He's gonna shit. You just said no. stop making shit jokes, Aaron. Well, he did a grunt. Those hamsters could probably pass for mice, right? So uh, maybe you can defeat Monokuma and Monomi with your hamsters. I already told you. Hamsters are merely their temporary form. Alright, I get that and all, 
but like, we want to get off the murder island, right? You know, in order to go to the fun house, all of you guys have to ride this train. All of us? <laughs> no, some of you. <laughs> if you want to try to get to the fun house, you gotta assemble everyone here. I've decided I'm never going to ride this thing. Chekhov's Funhouse Train. Hey, want to know something cool? According to Monokuma, we'll all get a treat if we ride that roller coaster together. Hey, hey! I'm not riding that thing. Oh, you're blowing it for everyone, Soda. Did I tell you I get crazy car sick? This ain't a car! Welcome! Welcome to the main attraction of this amusement park, the Great Ultra Delicious Coaster! It won't take us anywhere, it's just gonna circle around and come back here. Um, what is the meaning behind that? You dumb bastard. You fiend. <laughs> so funny. Sonia, you fiend. There are amusement parks in hell? No. I have never heard of such a thing. By all means, please allow me to come you company you next time. I made that shit way up. Hey, hey, hey. Don't do it, Miss Sonia. That guy has a habit of lying. <laughs> the entrance fee is the blood of a virgin. I shall offer up your blood as tribute. Oh, dip, Gundam. Oh, that's a shame. It's the- Oh, damn. It seems my blood cannot be used as the entrance fee. Are you kidding me? Huh? Wait, does that mean Miss Sonia? Hey, everyone. It's just gonna be a waste of time if we stand around like this and call each other virgins and discover that we're not. It's gonna be a waste of time. Sonia's clearly smashed before. Let's move on with our lives. <laughs> Why don't we just try riding it? <laughs> that's what Miss Sonia said. Wait, Sonia likes the hamster guy? It, I, that's that's the second time that I've seen some sort of hint as in like she's like take me with you like in what you're doing or something like that oh yeah <laughs> and, and he's had a reaction like why are you talking to him and not me just because I have purple hair and serrated saw like teeth oh yay we're all having a great time like a hamster just goes flying like pew 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 the friggin Akane always yeah like there's like one button that has to do the work of like an entire le legion of buttons on a normal shirt. Hold! Oh yeah, right, here you go, trade is a file. Hmm. Huh? This symbol! The future. It's fucking Mirai! Mm -hmm. It's the same symbol that's on the door of the ancient ruin. Fuck! <laughs> Darn! What the fuck? Oh, it's the first game. Ah. Right? Yeah. Read. Hope Speak Academy ironically became the site for this killing school life. Yeah, man. Huh? He was much thinner, as if he was an entirely different person, but he looked exactly like someone we knew. The ultimate affluent prodig prodigy. Progeny. Byakia Togami. What's this killing school trip they're talking about? Could you imagine such a thing? <laughs> it looks like the killings were involved to re in resemble this... We're involved in resemble this set of killings Got that happened it. before. What's the problem, Aaron? <laughs> and that took place inside Hope's Peak Academy. Uh, per uh perhaps that's what Byakia was planning to talk to me about. Was he specifically referring to this killing school life? Hey. Kind of getting used to it. To that be killing school life. Ah, <laughs> uh, the answers are in your school memories that were taken away. Oh my God. That's right. The treats you can't find yet are all hidden inside the funhouse. Hey. Then the ship parts should be there too, right? No, not just the ship parts. If you meant all the treats, that also includes our Hope Speak Academy student profiles, which means a clue about my talent should be there too. That's all I care about. It might be a trap. It might be a trap. But, but, <laughs> sir, it might be a trap. It might be a trap. But if that's the case, then get off the map. I don't know. Like I just didn't think of a good rhyme. But the, you know the kid. Yeah, I get the, it. The, I, the I get rhythm. It. It's all about the rhythm. Yeah, yeah, it's totally. It's like we're already caught in a trap. Then everyone, let's go to the. Uh, let's try going to the fun house. Plunging yourself into a trap is an act of sheer madness. The only plunging I want is my four dark devas of destruction plunging into my luscious sphincter. <laughs> That's what makes it truly interesting. <laughs> then it's decided. <laughs> we'll plunge his four dark Davis. Psst. I've got a secret. What the hell? Is this gas? D uh, uh, who is that? Damn it, this is definitely a trap. As soon as that white smoke surrounded us, I knew it was getting dank in here. Ugh. When we wo when I woke up, I was someplace that didn't make sense. It was clearly a place I'd never seen before. 
My sense of reality was still hazy, so I wasn't able to react right away. Have you ever seen Squid Game? Oh, welcome! Welcome to Strawberry House. Strawberry House? Forever? Is, is this- <laughs> Is it- <laughs> Isn't this the fun house? Oh, fuck it. Someone's gonna die here, definitely. The deluxe room is soundproof and has excellent air insulation. The standard room may have so-so insulation, but it's still pretty decent. And the crummy room has severe airflow and draft problems. That will factor in later. This is the motive this time. An escape game! Oh, crap. An escape game? In other words, the concept this time is a closed circle within a closed circle. Like Hope Speak Academy back then, this fun house is a completely closed space. Concentric. There's only one way to get out of- Thank you. <laughs> There's only one way to get out of this closed space building. When the killing begins! I'll let you guys out when the next killing happens! Like, why would gas even work on a robot? That's supposed to be when you make your move. Gas shouldn't pose a problem, but... Gasoline, on the other hand. <laughs> If they activate my sleep mode, even I won't stand a chance. Huh? Sleep mode? That's right. It's a cutting edge function that puts my other functions to sleep. Even if I have insomnia. It's easy to kill me with. Just press the good night button on the back of my neck and I'll be forced to enter sleep mode. And then you can kill me. <laughs> What's the point of that function? It easy makes me easy to kill! <laughs> <laughs> if we were brought inside this place, then there's definitely an exit out somewhere. Like I said. Amazing! Amazing! A heart that refuses to give up until the very end! That must be hope! Kill him. I'm coming! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Miss Sonia, I guess it's time we also- Sonia already yeah, left with Gundam. I fucking knew it! That's great. Huh? Ah, uh, you got dumped. I guess we're the leftovers. Looks like we're not very well liked. Gahaha, <laughs> it's not like complaining about it will change anything. We're just a traitor and a robot after all. Not a traitor. <laughs> oh, that's right, my apologies. And I'm not a robot. <laughs> wink, <laughs> wink. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can trade me all you want. <laughs> I'm a fucking robot. Let's show everyone else the value in leftovers. Who's hungry? There's an old portrait hanging on the wall. Ah, yes. Great grandfather Milton Strawberry. <laughs> Why would the. <laughs> The man who invented the strawberry. <laughs> Hope's Peak Academy founder, Izuru Kamakura. Huh. Why would a portrait of someone as important as this, the founder of Hope's Peak Academy, be in a place like this? Also, this name. It's so hard to pronounce! Fuck! The final dead room is a challenge given to you by Headmaster Monokuma. That's me. Only those who win the life-threatening game that occurs in this room will be able to reach the Octagon, the fabled holy land where the ultimate weapon sleeps. Where John Cena rules. <laughs> what? John Cena! <laughs> there he is! You have to fight him! You can't even see him! Nakumara raised his right arm and vigorously slammed the button more times than he needed to. It's like when you when you try to make the crosswalk go. Oh shit. Yeah, oh. Oh. Grape Town. Why do I see something that doesn't match the strawberry theme at all? And what is that that doesn't match the strawberry scene? Can you tell me? Is it a strawberry? <laughs> no. Uh -uh. <laughs> the doorknob won't budge. Not even one bit. I'll use my Nekomaru rockets. <laughs> is it locked? Contact elevator, you say? Even though it's an elevator, it's a big mistake to think that moves vertically. That's like Willy Wonka. You ever seen Willy Wonka? It goes up ways and sideways and down ways. My chungus would never allow us to get off the ground like that. Does this elevator go to a different building? Yeah. Yes. It goes to Grape House. Huh? Grape House? Hey. I wonder what the deal is there. After staying inside the vibration-free elevator, eventually the door in front of us suddenly opened. It appears we've arrived at our destination. Grape House! Yeah, I do wonder if, like, we just sat there for a minute while Monokuma changed everything. Yeah, just like the shit rotated or whatever. Yeah, who knows. Now then, allow me to explain the Grape House. <laughs> ah. Ta -da! But it's supposed to be an escape game, so how can there be any tension if there's no time limit? So, just how did they use your stomachs as the time limit? Ah! Kill someone before you starve to death! This time around, I really want to pair up with Miss Sonia. Too bad. She, she already left with Gundam. 
<laughs> Looks like you're being avoided, not just rejected. Oh, damn, Chiaki, telling it like it is. Hmm, the structure of this building doesn't seem all that different compared to Strawberry Tower. Maybe they're the same fucking thing. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Strawberry door inside Grape Tower. That sounds complicated. Maybe they're just connected. Yeah, it's not. So the door that they came out of was probably a strawberry door. But they never turned around to look at it. Stop right there! I heard you guys are- I heard what you guys are discussing, and I want in. Does my hand smell weird? <laughs> I think it's- it smells weird, right? It smells like oranges. <laughs> um, that door doesn't lead outside. I think it's pointless to even try it out. Bye. Definitely. Definitely, you say? How could you tell? Probably definitely. I think I found out the secret of the funhouse's structure. If you thought my hand smelled weird, you have no idea what you're in for with this finger. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> the secret of the structure. Want me to tell you? Want me to tell you? Do you want me to explain it to you? Want me to slow it down for you? Well, dumbass. <laughs> pay close attention to each house's relationship to its respective tower. They're fucking connected! <laughs> Stupid asshole! I heard it, that it's super painful to die from starvation. Before that happens, why don't we, you know, the hamsters that Gundam carries around. You, you imbecile! What are you implying? That we fucking eat the hamsters! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Kazuichi, you should be grateful to Sonya. I almost gave you four dark dicks to the face. <laughs> I love that Sonya and Gundam like each other. If she ends up killing him, we're very disappointed. Oh, for sure, that's no. What's please don't let that be it. Allow me to give you a brief rapport. <laughs> Since I'm the one who made this discovery, I should take all the credit. Yeah. It's just as important. I guess technically you picked it up off the ground, hand. <laughs> I can't stay mad at you. <laughs> Love you, hand. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> where, where are you going? I love you so much. <laughs> you remember what Monokuma said about a Monokuma archive on the third floor? I actually tried to go there. Don't go there. Oh. It was just journals about his poops. <laughs> like the name suggests, it was an archive full of stuff about Monokuma. It reminded me of those celebrities who build their memorial house in their hometown. What the fuck I've are never, you talking about? I've never about? heard of that, but that's an awesome idea. <laughs> I love that. Then it looks like we don't ever- Yeah, you can just What make, a move! Yeah, you <laughs> can just, just make my memorial house like a TV and a copy of Danganronpa. Cause yeah. I'm gonna die playing this fucking game. <laughs> Build a monument to myself. What a dick. I found a lost child at the Monokuma archive. Probably should have led with that. <laughs> what?! <laughs> yeah. Hey, don't just hide, come on out! Oh. oh. Hey, you complete something? Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> Is there any part of you left that's still rabbit me? I'm expected to be food. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks so ridiculous. <laughs> Gotta put the hamster. Tiny in hamster. Behold, a motor. It's a ship part. I'm holding it up with my mind hand. <laughs> Based on its extremely small size, isn't that? Yes, a hamster boat. Tee you totally got tricked. I never said a single word about the ship being real, stupid idiot moron! What do you think the odds are- Oh, that face is the worst. This was the very first time I've ever seen a radio-controlled toy. I found it quite fashionable. It's like something a poor person would use. <laughs> I was able to hear Gundam's old story as well, so this was quite a wonderful discovery. God, I love Gundam. He's like Soda, if Soda was handsome, tough, and awesome. I feel a Kane's feral stare. It's like I'm being licked from head to toe. But it feels kind of good. Please don't. Sexualize oh. this thing. <laughs> what, what, what am I saying? She's into war, dude. I don't want this. <laughs> That's not it, okay? Even, that ain't it, Chief. Even furries <laughs> have their limits. <laughs> There's also a phone in the lounge, too. However, instead of the grape button that was on the phone in Strawberry House's lounge, there's a strawberry button on the phone in Grape House's lounge. What? Slow down, Fuyuhiko. It's possible that we can use those two phones to communicate with each other. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I. I can't. I can't stand this game anymore, dude. <laughs> I, it's too smart for me. Well, I've come to a conclusion. The Grape Tower that we're currently in the strawberry. The Grape Tower that we're in currently and the strawberry tower we were in earlier. I think they're actually the same building. Yes. I see. What makes you think that? 
on account of we fucking. What do you mean? What makes me think that? What do you fucking mean? I'm gonna get you all out of here because I'm gonna kill myself inside Strawberry House. Strawberry Ball is on your left when your back is facing the elevator, right? But then, Grape House <laughs> is on the other side of the door that we went through. So wait, you mean to tell me <laughs> that if you walk through a door, and <laughs> you end up in a in a different room with the door you just walked through behind you? And so, if you think about it, and put those two together. <laughs> ah! <laughs> How did they do that? What? Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are the same building? What possible reason could you have to believe that? <laughs> she does that like slow head turn like... <laughs> are you... Um, are you serious? <laughs> I just told you. But that might be a possibility. We have to believe all things, even how crazy they are! If that's the case... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's possible this game is just like a social experiment to see if it can make the person playing it go completely batty. <laughs> Wait, you mean to tell me? These are the people that survived because they were clever enough to avoid getting killed. He's like holding up his finger too. He's like, <laughs> if you think about it, it makes sense. Light bulb ding. <laughs> it would mean that strawberry houses be on that door with the strawberry image on it. Oh. <laughs> as well as the opposite, the grape door that was at the strawberry tower would lead to grape house. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, I didn't think of that. Slow down. Meaning, if we opened the grape house door when we came in here. Go on. Meaning, depending on which door we use, this tower changes to either strawberry tower or grape tower! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Don't you feel it? There are countless sensors plastered all over the tower's walls and floors. Oh yes, now I feel it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel the cosmos. My guess is that sensor can probably detect any movement within the tower. What about Nekamaru? He's a heartless robot. I have a motor running inside me. It's as good as any human heart. But if you're in sleep mode, that function will come to a stop too, right? If you press the button next to this door, you should be able to enter Strawberry Tower. Then I'll press it! With this all-purpose finger! <laughs> Chiaki, no! Wait, step aside, you fiends. What? Maybe he means friends. Mm -hmm. He's just forgetting. Emissary of evil, in accordance with our ancient contract, the time has come to lend me your aid. Go dark of destruction. Pierce through, Supernova Silver Fox Sandy! Choo choo! Oh, Amazing! Your hamsters are truly skilled! I see. Your eyes manage to follow Sandy's movements. As expected of the Dark Lady, you have my praise. My god, these two are in love. Truly amazing. You must have a strong, trusting relationship with them. You have no idea. Aww. For the time being, the Monokuma announcements are on hiatus. You can- uh, I- Hiatus. Hiatus. Yep. You got it. Okay. You can't go outside and there are no windows here, so it's not like it matters if it's morning or night. It's like Caesar's Palace! Also, I've been thinking of a little something to replace the Monokuma announcement. Each house has five guest rooms, so we should first decide who's going to stay in which house and which person's gonna get murdered. This, too, must be the will of causality. <laughs> <laughs> this, too, must be the will of causality? Yeah. But in actuality, he just said, then ladies first. <laughs> two deluxe rooms, one standard room, and two crummy rooms? I'll For take now. the crummy room. And we need to decide those next, huh? Rock, paper, scissors, of course! Well. Suddenly, the rock, paper, scissors battle between six guys had begun, and the results? <laughs> ah, sorry, I ended up winning so easily. It's because I look at my hand all the time, so we have a real strong relationship on <laughs> what type of rock, paper, or scissor to form. <laughs> paper! <laughs> yeah, that's... So, I take second place. 
<laughs> and my four Dark Davis of Destruction are 2A through D. That's fine. I was getting bored of always being on top. Isn't that right, Sonya? Gundam's a bottom. Confirmed. It's decided you two will make a deluxe room. Now then! I will be resting in the standard room. Damn right. <laughs> Me and Kazuichi are next. Why don't you just stand in the hallway? That's unfortunate, Hajime. You can rest in the lounge, but try not to catch a cold. So there is a standard room and a crummy room left. <laughs> Hajime, if you would like, please use one of them. Uh, in the g g g g g g girls' house? It's dangerous. Hajime might be the traitor, you know? Um, what are you saying? I'm saying that sorry? Hajime might be the traitor. <laughs> what? Uh huh. Uh huh. We haven't doubted Hajime at all. He's cool and hot. It seems that you're the only one who thought Hajime is suspicious. Really? Of all people, you're gonna say that? You're really gonna say that? I came down in a bubble, <laughs> dog. I'm on a roll today, man. Yeah, you're killing it. And so, all the guys except for me ended up staying the night on the second floor of Strawberry House. This sounds like a fairy tale. And all the girls... <laughs> <laughs> Happily ever after in Strawberry House. <sighs> what is it, Monami? <laughs> Please just say something. It's the deluxe rooms are the two rooms at the far back, right? Is this is the leaky Chiaki I know yeah. of. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm no longer attracted to you! I'm gonna get paper towels for you. I'll be right back. It's morning already. Now that there are no Monokuma announcements, I can't come! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Aaron, please. I need you to hold it together. <laughs> Good morning, students! It's time for your 10 a.m. nut! <laughs> Here we go! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Let's fucking go! <laughs> Free time. Hi, Chiaki. Oh man, love to I think chat, I'm going but really <laughs> see, this so tired. Again, I'm sorry, everyone. We just can't play this for a thousand episodes. In order for you guys to get your energy back, I'm providing a special service with all my heart. So everyone, please gather at Grape Tower tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Seven in the morning. Fuck. <laughs> There's no alarm clock in this room. How do you expect us to wake up? <laughs> That's your responsibility, so you figure it out. By the way, being late is strictly prohibitado. Unless you're dead. Now that we have all gathered here so early in the morning, what do you intend to make us do this time? From this day forward, I'd like you to make Monokuma Tai Chi part of your daily routine every morning. Monokuma Tai Chi. All right, start the music. Nice. This is clearly affecting my hunger. Why exactly do we have to do this? To make us more hungry! You fucking moron! Fess up. You've been secretly getting food from your future foundation buddies, haven't you? I swear. You better. Stop! I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> so... Making a scene is just going to make us hungrier. So let's just calm down for now and eat one of us. I'm just standing, but I feel dizzy. Mom spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've reached my limit. I'm hungry. I'm hungry, 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 Wait, hungry, a, hungry, a, hungry. There's a hungry in there. Hungry, 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 <laughs> hungry, like hungry. I hope that was intentional. Where's the exit? Damn it, where the fuck is the exit? Damn, Hajime. Fucking god. Final dead room. A final dead room is a challenge given to you by Headmaster Monokuma. Only those who win the life-threatening game that occurs in this room will be able to reach the octagon, the fabled holy land where the ultimate weapon sleeps. Now then, if you're feeling heroic, and you're willing to risk your life to continue living, you should challenge the final dead room. I should go to the final dead room! I said out loud for some reason. It kind of looks like Bob Zombie. Bob Zombie? <laughs> Hi, I'm Bob Zombie. <laughs> As I wobbled through the witches and bird tripped through the dishes the over... <laughs> I couldn't As know. I bobbed through the witches and burned <laughs> through the dishes? No. As I wobbled through the witches <laughs> and tripped through the ditches. Oh, there's, there's, there's the life threatening game. Even if you clear it, you'll only obtain the weapon the Monokuma prepared. Do you want the weapon? Are you planning? What are you planning to do once you obtain it? You had this intense worried look on your face while you were walking, so I followed you. And you were kind of cute, and I was like, oh, he's kind of cute. And he said, hi. It looks like I made the right choice. Let's go back, Hajime. Right? Okay. Aww. 
But I want the final dead But I want to kill somebody. <laughs> Please. Uh oh. Kablam. Huh? Mm-hmm. My favorite Nickelodeon show from 1997. How long was I asleep? I regained my consciousness a little after hearing a faint rumble in the distance. What was that sound just now? My body won't move. This has never happened. <laughs> Mom spagoo. <laughs> Knees weak. My goodness, Hajime. When did your face become Mont Blanc all of a sudden? Um, just the corner's fine. So, may I take a bite out of you? You get a stomachache. Oh, boy. Oh, my. Now there's an adorable shortcake. That's wrong. I'm not a shortcake. I'm Chiaki. She does that Looney Tunes thing where she turns into a giant hot dog. <laughs> yeah, look. Come on, if you're too slow, we'll be late. Yeah, you're right. Okay. All right. That's right there. <laughs> <laughs> did a full rotation. Oh, boy. Then I'll press the button. <laughs> Hopefully the girls didn't notice that weird spin I just did. <laughs> I'm sure nobody cares at this point. It was very sudden. That's right, it's always sudden. The door to despair always opens suddenly. Fuck! Heavy. Oh. oh we got whoa, a dead whoa, 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 someone's dead, someone's dead. dead Nekumaru, no! Yeah, I fucking knew it, man. No! Oh, no! I guess that would explain the kablam. <laughs> there was an earth shattering kaboom! <laughs> oh, goodness me. All right. Yup, that's a, that's a ding dong, dong ding. A body has been discovered. Mazel tov. Nekumaru, no, this is a lie, right? And we can eat now, right? <laughs> All right, in this line, we want you to say wah. Ah, every day milk, like every day. I brought you guys a present since the killing went off without a hitch. Besides, if I don't feed you, you guys probably won't last long enough for a class trial. Damn it. I'll definitely find out who killed Coach Nikamaru, but first... <laughs> so good. What has happened to the others? They appear to be extremely late. You mean the guys in Strawberry House? Now that you mention it, no one's here. Mm. Especially not the killer. Mm. That's weird. They should have come to Grape Tower because we had Monokuma Tai Chi. Jeez, how unacceptable. I never expected all of you to ditch Monokuma Tai Chi. Despite the fact that his arms and legs are dismembered, these limbs were actually designed to be detachable, and it seems they just separated due to a severe impact. Like one of those toys, you press a button, it's like, Pull. This hammer is the weapon? Looks like some Mario Brothers shit. Yeah, it really does. But it looks a little too clean. It's almost like it's new or something. It's strange that this pillar is the only one that's tipped over. It might mean something. Probably not, though. Yeah. Huh. I'm over it. It's no use. It won't even budge. If two people can't even move this pillar, then it's impossible to use it as a blood joy yawning weapon. Mm-hmm. Well, there's only one person who could've lived something like this. Mechamaru. Yeah. He's the only one. Robo Coach. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> yeah. Robo Coach. Based on the smell, it seems like oil. It seems to be flowing heaviest from Nekomaru's head. Probably because that's where the fatal blow was dealt. It's his life blood! And they're like, Hajime? And you're like, oh, sorry. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just kind of a little. Sorry, I'm there. Still hungry. So all this oil is just a pool of robot blood. <laughs> so metal. Anyway, that's a whole lot of oil. It's not going to be easy to clean up. No, now's not the time to even worry about that. He's dead. It's olive oil. Quickly, bring me some bread. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a vinaigrette. Make it warm. <laughs> there's a sturdy metal wire that, tied. There's to a strudy metal wire. <laughs> there is a strudy metal wire <laughs> okay. tied to Nekomaru's left leg, isn't there? <laughs> the same wire is tied to his arms. It's almost like he was bound up or something. Strudy as hell. Why did they do something like this? So nobody would know that they were moving? <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps this was used in uh, wow. Perhaps this was used as an alternative to locking the door with a key. That's ridiculous. By the way, I would like to confirm this just in case. Um, so the two buildings are connected at the <laughs> tower, right? Ultimately, it is safe to assume that Grape Tower and Strawberry Tower are the same building. Oh my god. Yep. Can we just confirm? Because I'm still unsure. I think the towers aren't actually connected. Ah. And they are pushing that pretty hard. Yeah, they so. made like a huge deal of over explaining it. Yeah. So it makes me think that, that that's not the case. She Thank seems you, agitated. Well, that's understandable. What gave you the that impression? Wow, her boobs look even bigger now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the final dance room. 
No, that's dangerous. If you go in there, you have to play the life-threatening game. Uno. Then, <laughs> I'll be the one who tries to confirm it. I'm awesome at Uno. How come you're not going, Akane? Hey. Well, that sound is annoying, and I don't really feel like leaving. Hey, hey. Hajime, it's okay if it's just the two of us. <gasps> it's okay if it's just the two of us. Yeah. Come on, Akane says she wants to see her. Yeah. Huh? Akane wants to mourn, so let's neck. <laughs> Jesus, so noisy, looks like that phone is ringing. Oh yeah, they're calling from uh, the other house. Oh, you're finally answered. That voice. Is that you, Fuyuhiko? Jeez, do you know how long the phone was ringing? I was getting worried that no one would pick up. What are you guys doing? Are you all still in Strawberry House? Even if we wanted to go over there, we can't. Looks like someone broke the damn elevator. It's not moving at all. We can't enter the tower from Strawberry Hall because the door button in there is broken too. Shit, that's it! The killer broke the elevator and the Strawberry Hall door. Very good, Fuyuhiko. <laughs> no one can hurt me when I'm in my cat's face. Jackie, Jackie, can you hear me? <laughs> Jackie? <laughs> Monokuma isn't going to wait. I doubt we have that much time before the class trial starts. <laughs> Damn right. Nagito, I'm talking to you. Wait, is this like... This is meanwhile, I think. Has this ever happened before? No, no, you've been present for everything. Did we just... Did Nagito just become a POV character? I think so. Holy shit. Yeah. We have to wait till Kazuichi fixes the elevator. True, there is no doubt that the killer is responsible, but it seems as though they made a huge mistake. There's no way the Symbols of Hope will give up because of this little setback. What the fuck am I even talking about? <laughs> There's no way everyone will just cross their arms and wait for the class trial to start. Let's cross our arms and wait for the class trial to start. Okay! Whose side should I be on for this case? The killers? Yeah. Or the rest of you guys? Yeah, that alone tells you something's a little off. I must make sure I face this case's mystery properly if I'm gonna find out which side is the true hope. <laughs> That's all he said out loud. Yeah, exactly. He's just sitting there like... Ha! <laughs> 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 you must have been in deep slumber last night to not notice the alarm and that rumbling noise. <laughs> I see. You must have been possessed by a wandering succubus. Hot! But no. For you to avoid being snatched away to the world of the dead. <laughs> I knew you had the devil's luck. Well, my luck is my only good quality. And my rugged good looks. One doesn't need a succubus when one has four dark devas of destruction that are able to all fit into one human dress together as long as they stand on each other's shoulders. And then they come into your room and you're like, Oh, how's it going, Sonia? And they're like, meep, meep. I saw Nakamaro's back. He was about to go down to the first floor. I thought about running after him, but I didn't have the energy or willpower to do it. Plus, he kind of went into, like, my right eye's field of vision, and that's when shit gets weird. <laughs> if I knew something like this would happen, I would have mustered the strength to follow him. But why would Nekamaru wander off so early in the morning? It happened last night. I was sleeping peacefully in my room, and all of a sudden I heard this huge sound. It was my big swinging hog thudding <laughs> yeah. against the floor. <laughs> I was like, like, I was sleeping peacefully, and then, like, the image comes up, and he's just, like, furiously dragging <laughs> off. <laughs> What the hell? Oh man, now I have to get out of my work pajamas and get back into my regular work clothes. <laughs> While they were. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, I'm being drawn by a completely different artist than usual. Rockets. It's louder than the supreme ruler of the netherworld bellowing for a sacrifice. Damn, no, it's the sexy ass clock. clock. <laughs> God. God, just want to fuck it. <laughs> Whatever, I don't really give a crap, but it's 5.30 a.m. Oh, Need some sleep. Man, thanks to Fuyihiko, I woke up early for no reason. I should go back to sleep. Kablam. I mean, isn't it strange? I was the only one who didn't notice an alarm that was so loud everyone else came out of their rooms. What if Hajime's the killer, and he gets killed, and then Nagito becomes... The, the POV character? Oh my god, that would be so weird. It was Soda. I'm okay. calling it right now. You think so? 100% it was Soda. I guess if he's a mechanic, he would know how to disassemble a robot. Yes. By the time the elevator's fixed, there's a chance I might not be with you all anymore. Huh? Anyway, I'm counting on you. I'm unaliving myself. <sighs> Gah, that's bastard. That's bastard doesn't make any <laughs> sense. You better believe it. They must have re been really cautious to go to the trouble of bar barring the door from both sides. 
Something about that seems a little suspicious. Plus, the elevator's stuck on the Grape House side. Wouldn't that mean the last person who used this elevator went to Grape House? Uh. Oh, shit. Yup, it's official. The elevator was disabled on the other side. Is this a multi-tool? Where'd you get something like this? I had it with me before I even arrived at the fourth island. If we're going to explore a new island, it's essential to bring this kind of equipment, right? To break elevators and door buttons. Are you serious? A guy like you has been walking around with a dangerous tool this whole time? <laughs> There's more than one dangerous tools on my person. Huh? Is there something wrong? It's nothing. I have syphilis. <laughs> then I'll let you have this. Your repairs might go faster now. That multi, 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 mm -hmm. compass. <laughs> After the elevator is fixed, I want you to ride the elevator and see how the compass reacts. I really need this information to find out the relationship between the building and the elevator. They're fucking. <laughs> yeah. The final dead room. No matter where I search, there are no weapons anywhere in this building, except the one I was carrying on yeah, me. Yeah, except the one I just gave over. Like five weapons in one. Regardless of the weapon used to kill Nekomaru, the killer must have obtained it there. Or my pocket. Oh, this place looks lovely. Ah, oh, it's fun in here. <laughs> <laughs> this is nice. Feels a little eerie. Hope I don't get sk <laughs> Hope I don't cough. <laughs> yeah, that'd be the worst. Clack. Uh-oh. Did the door just lock? I figured you'd turn up since I haven't seen you in a while, but I never expected to see you here. <laughs> Nagato! The life-threatening game is going to start soon, right? it will be annoying if you got in my way. Uh, uh, are you planning to do it? The only way trash like me can be useful is by risking my life for everyone's sake. I guess that's a noble thought. You're wrong. Nagato is not trash at all. <laughs> you, on the other hand, <laughs> you're worse than trash. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, you imagine this little bear just staring at you. Yeah, just staring up. <laughs> um, uh. Escape. Escape. It's just a secret code, plus it's a pretty common one. Huh? Secret code? Nagato, do you happen to know what this means? Yeah, it's a common riddle. Okay. Is it? Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Something written in blood on the wall. Can you make it out? <laughs> I can see the number seven. These blood symbols alone don't make sense, but maybe if I combine them with something else. Looks like it's a number three. Thank you. These blood symbols alone don't make sense, but maybe if I combine them with something else. Oh. Uh, Laptop. Is, can the news be watched on that? How are we going to turn it on? Maybe if we talk dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Who's a dirty little fucking laptop? <laughs> you want me to flip you open? It's a fucking hard drive. <laughs> oh, pliers, huh? These might be useful for pulling out my fucking teeth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Oh, hmm, this looks like some kind of password. Smegmas. Is there something thin and long? Yeah. How would you know? <laughs> you wish. Hell yeah. yeah. Thin as shit. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the thinnest dick from here to Milwaukee. Let's try <laughs> <laughs> Something written in blood in the back of the closet. That's a five. Looks like the number five. These blood symbols alone don't make sense, but maybe if I combine them with something else, uh, what would they correlate to? Door, closet, door, <laughs> cabinet, wall. Like, what's the significance of them being there? And why does that one have a thing about it? All right, pause the episode. So, Ooh. Oh, it's a goon. Yay, it looks like <laughs> Yay, a gun! Time to fucking murder! Are you serious? It's not happening. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Monami. Sorry. Sorry. Solve the mystery of the final dead room and you will obtain the right to play the life-threatening game. About the life-threatening game. It's life-threatening roulette. Ah. P.S. You're held liable for setting the roulette's difficulty. Depending on the difficulty, I've prepared special prizes, but don't- but make sure you don't overdo yourself. Life-threatening roulette. That's probably like Russian roulette. Wait, you can't do that. There's a one in six chance you'll die. 
A one in six chance of death. Hell yeah. <laughs> Which means the failure rate is only one sixth. <laughs> hey, is that rule really I love okay? those odds. So shouldn't it be the opposite? Remove one bullet from the gun and then use it while there are still five bullets loaded. If you do that, there will be a one sixth chance of success. Yup, that would definitely make it a more thrilling game. Mm. What are you saying? Let's give it a go! Uh, hold on, Nikita, what are you doing? I've only removed one bullet, so there's only a one in six chance that I'll survive. But he's the ultimate lucky student. Oh, yeah. If I'm truly the ultimate lucky student, I need to survive here. Okay, wrap it up. <laughs> Pop. <laughs> <laughs> The diaper is like, whoop. <laughs> Click. Ha ha ha. Fucking Click. joke's on you. Well, there shouldn't be two clicks. Oh. So this is the octagon, huh? Welcome to Thunderdome, bitch. <laughs> what a distorted room. It's in the shape of an octagon, idiot! I have a modest present for someone like you. It's a book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Used. <laughs> it's a five dollar gift certificate to Amazon! <laughs> Applebee's! <laughs> <laughs> Is this the Future Foundations file? Help yourself to one free snackitizer! <laughs> <laughs> and one more special prize. Here you go! This crest. Is this Hope's Peaks, uh, Hope's, Hope's Peak Academies? <laughs> That's right. This file, it contains your student profiles from your time at Hope's Peak Academy. Meaning, they're profiles that you guys don't even remember. So if I look at these profiles, I'll be able to find out what Hajime's hidden talent is too. He'll probably be happy about it. Yay! <laughs> Someone like me was finally useful! <laughs> but looks like things are gonna get interesting. Yes, now I can tell you might be the one who makes things much more interesting. But for now... I'll leave this file for later. You know, to build suspense and tension for the audience. In my mind, I entertained various possibilities as I walked slowly toward the window. It does let a lot of beautiful light into the room. Really makes the place feel homey. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna curl up next to it with a nice book. <laughs> like a kitty cat. The moment I peeked that out that read. window. <laughs> huh? Like my cat. Meow, meow, meow. Tolstoy. <laughs> <laughs> This is what I actually saw outside that window. It was completely different from any possibility I had in mind. <laughs> it seems I'm finally starting to get a larger perspective of the funhouse with this. All right, Nagito, fucking yeah, spill the beans. Yeah. Oh, really? Is that all you're going to say? <laughs> yeah. There's a door on the floor. <laughs> Isn't this the first floor of Strawberry House? Could this door lead underground? Based on the sketch, there shouldn't have been a bunker. No, maybe what lies beyond this door. Banana basement. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, because it's all fruit? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought you were like, I was like, is that a bananas and pajamas reference? Uh, a refrigerator here in my vagina? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to that window, I realized the mystery of the ultimate weapon in the funhouse. Now, cool. oh yeah, it's great that you're telling us. <laughs> Thanks. Now all I have to do is tell everyone else about this, but not the viewer. Yeah, we're everyone else. But before I do that, time to jerk off. <laughs> I should finally take a look at the file I received from Monokuma. Uh oh, oh. Hey. Hey, can you hear me? Oh, it's Chiaki. Oh, Chiaki. Can you hear me? Hajime! Oh. Okay, we're Hajime again. Huh? Why, hello there, Hajime. Nagito, why are you here? <laughs> Because I showed up! <laughs> I fucking hate you, Nikito. <laughs> Maybe I teleported. Huh? I guess we're not gonna talk about it anymore. Oh, that's with the trapdoor. I've cleared the final dead room! Mazel tov! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> <His> head explodes. <laughs> now it's Strawberry House in here! There's even more detailed information about the killing school life that was in the earlier file. I find it extremely boring to read about the deaths of people that I don't even know. Unless I'm one of them. I might still be naive. Yeah, well, I'll see. Besides Byaki, of course. In truth, there are similarities between the killing school life and this killing school trip. Do you fucking think so? For example, 
people killed each other. And it was the same school. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, there's a lot in common. Shit! So it was like, this is the sequel! Well, the first murder involved someone important getting stabbed to death in an unexpected place. The butt. <laughs> I guess anytime you get stabbed, it's in an unexpected place. <laughs> Whoa! No, I didn't see this coming at all. <laughs> the second murder revealed the presence of a serial killer among the group. Oh, yeah. And the third murder was actually two killings that happened in succession. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, we've had such good times. I really have to rewatch that series. And so should you at GameGrumps.org. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of these as coincidences, Hand. Especially if Monokuba is behind the motives and driving the murders. What do you think? Let me touch your wheelie again. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. You're insatiable. <laughs> By the way, the fourth murder of this killing school life was apparently ruled a suicide. Huh? And I even learned what your talent is, too. Huh? Well... It's being annoying. <laughs> Bye! This file doesn't contain our information, just Hajime's information. The fuck? I must say, it was always interesting that Hajime was the only one who couldn't remember his talent. Right. But that ends now. Are you serious? You're the ultimate plumber. <laughs> oh. You were... just some reserve course student from the reserve... department? Um... The reserve department pretty much only exists to increase Hope's Peaks Academy's revenue stream. You're the ultimate some jerk. To be a reserve course student, you don't need to possess an ultimate talent. You just need to be a douche. Yeah. You just have to pay a rather costly entrance fee in tuition. Oh man, that's how I got into college. You must be chosen by Hope to become Hope! You don't even know. That's why it's not even worth admiring. You scum. Here's just some nobody from the reserve course who never had a talent to begin with. A nobody for who forgot he was a nobody. That's all. You have no talent whatsoever. It's like the fourth time he said it. Like, I get it. I get it. <laughs> now that we know who you are, a normal, average, utterly unremarkable high school student, there's no way you could be associated with the Future Foundation. Weren't we making jokes like that early on? Like, he's the ultimate, like, average guy? Yeah. Wow. It's true. We were accidentally right. There's no need for you to listen to this. What? Fuck him. Yeah. <laughs> I still think you're super cute. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I like you. So you're the ultimate liked guy. Yeah. <laughs> ultimate liked guy. <laughs> I'm not on the killer's side. That hasn't changed since this began. Isn't that right? He <laughs> <laughs> Stop talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. I don't want to be your part anymore. <laughs> How many times must I repeat myself? High fiving is a form of abuse. <laughs> <laughs> High five. Yeah. How many times must I repeat myself? Should be the fucking tagline for this game. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about the ultimate weapon. Was it the window? I did go to a place that seemed to be the octagon, and I found many different weapons there. But I didn't find anything worthy of the name Ultimate Weapon. You better hurry, the class child's gonna start soon. Right. Ding dong bing bong. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> <laughs> Gundam! Yo. Yo, sorry we're late. Just so you know, it's all thanks to me. I'm the one who fixed the elevator. <laughs> now that everyone's here to destroy Dan's voice, let's have a long conversation. <laughs> the compass needle rotated 180 degrees while we were riding the elevator. I see, just as I thought. Huh? Well, obviously the elevator most likely rotated 180 degrees. The elevator rotated? Now that Mikan is no longer with us, we can't perform an autopsy. Right? Wait, what happened to Mikan? <laughs> just, like, really not paying attention. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> I, she was just with us, right? And, and now that I think about it, where's Byakya? <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to disassemble Nekomaru's body? Only if you think it's hot. Don't screw with me! Has the coach Nekomaru been through enough already? Why? If you suck at using your brain and you really want to know who the killer is, try not to interfere so much. Oh, fuck. Ugh. Jeez. Punch him. <laughs> Come on, chop chop! And by that, I mean chop up his body. Yes, by all means. Nagito, there's definitely something wrong with you. I thought he was just treating me different ever since we found out I have no talent. <laughs> but, it seems like that's not entirely the case. He's just a dick! Yeah. Where did you get that tool knife? Huh? Nagito gave it to me. He said he already had it before we already- wait. He said he had it ready before we even went to the amusement well, park. That's the ultimate weapon! As I thought, there's no way I can leave this to you guys. What are you talking about? I found this under a fragment of the pillar that tipped over. <laughs> Is this a doorknob? Jeez, you overlooked this thing that I found and put in my pocket. <laughs> Didn't tell you about. 
Idiots! <laughs> Where did this doorknob come from? If it's not the door that leads to Strawberry Hall, then where the fuck is it? <laughs> A Grape Hall? Meow, 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 meow. It'd have to be the door connected to Grape Hall that we entered from, right? Uh, well, it makes sense to think about it like that. <laughs> we should try it out. Try it out? How? You don't I don't know! <laughs> Take the elevator to Strawberry House! Fuck! <laughs> Strawberry Tower from Strawberry Hall! All these questions! Good making right. my head hurt, making me touch it with my other hand. Oh, hello, <laughs> well, other okay. hand. I've never met you before! How have you been? <laughs> I'm the other hand! I've been here the whole time! The first hand's like, <gasps> <laughs> Who's that you see? <laughs> Seriously, hold on! Even if you do repair the button, what's gonna happen to the chain on the other side of the door? Huh? Chain? A chain? Door? There's not- there's a chain there?! <laughs> it looks like it won't come off easily, so does Nagito have a plan or something? Oh uh, no! <laughs> Please, let me leave this room! Jeez, I don't understand this at all! What will happen if you press the button to Strawberry Hall's door? Even so. But there's no way it'll open. You haven't done anything about the chain. There's no way this door will open, not when the other side is chained up. With a feeling of resignation, I press the button. What? Where did the chain go? Hey! Hey, doesn't this all look the same as when we were in Grape Tower? Nekomaru's body was in front of the far back door. Hmm. Which means his body should be in front of the door to the Strawberry Hall. Not just that, the parts that I carefully arranged when I disassembled the body all moved too. How many hot, dead, sexy robots are around here? I mean, dead robots are around here. Everything that was at the crime scene inside Grape Tower shifted to the opposite side. Oh. The 180 degree rotation. As if uh -huh. it rotated 180 degrees, I said it before right? you said it, Hajime. I can't imagine that the floor actually rotated 180 degrees, but is that really what this means? No, it's more than that. I feel like there's an even greater mystery here. One of the doorknobs is gone! <laughs> it's like the screws came out with it! This game only has two categories of things. Unbelievably obvious shit that's talked about ad nauseum, and impossible to figure out shit that you'd never <laughs> find in a million years. No need to worry, just one clue will change everything. <laughs> is, he just, is he just fucking, like, being an asshole because he looked out the window and saw the answer? Yeah. Without a doubt. Ding dong. Ding dong bing bong. Bing bong. Well, hello, no, Monokuma, I forgot all about you. It appears that it's time Hey! For the it's time, baby! Woo! Ah! Do you guys hear something? Hear something. Hey, hey. What do you hear this? <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, as if cutting off Chiaki or She was probably gonna say titty. Oh. Oh, oh my god. God! All right, you go first. <laughs> I detect the scent of danger. Even my familiars are saying, do not go inside. And it's not just because I murdered the- uh, You and I are just step ladders. You tell me you're the hand. <laughs> or all righty. <laughs> oh, you can go in. I'm, I'm just having a moment. I always believed that the talent that survived would be true hope. Damn it. But it wasn't. There is no hope amidst all this killing. I can't believe it took me this long um, to discover that! Dude, it's chapter four. Are you suggesting that sacrificing others for hope isn't real hope? No, but you're wrong. You're wrong! <laughs> no, you're wrong! <laughs> it's only natural and extremely obvious that strong hope devours weak hope. Isn't that right? <laughs> now we're talking about, like, levels of hope and despair. Yeah. Yeah, it's getting complicated. Anyway, I gotta shit. <laughs> yeah. Where's the bathroom? <laughs> Allow me to cut through those turds. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna lay a flat stinkum this <laughs> long! <laughs> Big flat stinkum. I don't have time to argue with you, let's go! Everyone's waiting! Man. Everyone, huh? <laughs> so you still believe you're just like everyone else. <sighs> <laughs> Reserve course students are so full of themselves! There might be another murder before the trial if you keep talking. <laughs> I hope this would never happen again, and now it's happening for the fourth time. No. <laughs> Maybe a fifth time, yeah, if we play our cards right. Oh man. Oh boy. Almost fully dead screen right there. I hope it doesn't get any further, because those are my two favorite characters yeah. that are still alive. I won't forgive this. Don't forgive me, I'm dead. <laughs> I headed over to Grape Tower from Monokuma Taichi. I was ripping my morning stinkum. <laughs> Flat, wide, and loud. <laughs> <laughs> the Sonya Nevermind story. <laughs> it was really ripping through those cheeks. 
Haji and Chiaki were also with me. <laughs> yes, it was horrible. <laughs> oh, God, you thirsty bitch. Just get over it, man. She likes everyone more than you. We were together since last night. Yeah. I am not some woman with flexible legs. What, what does that fuck? mean? The weapon was right there at the scene of the crime. The pillar. No, the hip. The killer used no the hip and beat the crap out of him. Bang. Yeah. No, there that's you. Wrong. Bing bong. <laughs> You've heard of ding dong ditch. Well, now it's time for bing bong bitch. <laughs> but that hammer was clean. So that's why you can't accept that it's the murder weapon. I'm with you, cause you're, you're, you're real. Baby gangster. <laughs> baby gangsta. Don't bring my rap name into this. <laughs> the actual weapon has oil on it, but if it's something that's got uh, oil on it, the <laughs> fucking hell are you morons? <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, you're morons. <laughs> with oil on it is that broken pillar. But that couldn't have been the weapon. How could it have possibly killed somebody? But nobody can hold a pillar like a sword. It would be impossible to wield it as a weapon. Nagito mentioned suicide, like yeah. in the first one, and this one might could mirror that. What if this points to Soda? What if someone reprogrammed him to basically smash himself with the pillar? Oh, 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 oh. good. I still think this is the perfect hamster-related murder. Okay, cool. As it's, they all are. Well, I mean, because, like, a murder's a murder, but, like, he's a robot, and, like, hamsters could go inside. I think of, like, Ant-Man, you know? Yeah, yeah, Ant yeah. Ant-Man going inside Thanos', Thanos anal hole. Dude, believe me, it's the classic hamster versus robot scenario that we've all <laughs> encountered a thousand times in our lives. What about tipping the pillar over? Yes! Ooh, nice no, shot. No, yeah, it's wrong! Wait, it's wrong? If it was crushed by the pillar, then there should have been fragments on top of his body. Hmm. Well, they were Good under point. his body. Huh? Oh, oh, yeah. That was entirely my bad. No, Miss Sonia, no. It's don't it's feel fine. sad, no. no, you know, don't. no. <laughs> what a waste of talent. And you all intend to fight the Future Foundation? You make me laugh. This guy has turned into a A-plus gold-plated douchebag. So cool. Yeah. What the hell happened to you? You used to be so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Now look at you. It's actually like the dickhead gene like moved from me to you. <laughs> the pillar itself is not enough. The pillar and his friends, however. Yeah, it's a serial pillar. <laughs> Nagito knows what the ultimate weapon is? Of course I know. But I'm pretty sure everyone else has seen it. Oh know? my god. Yeah, just say it, dude. It's the strawberry. You've seen it clearly. It's my fists. Because I, the one who has claimed dominion over evil, am the ultimate weapon. No shit, really? I deserve to be called the ultimate weapon. <laughs> the hamster's like, yay! No, you are far greater than the ultimate weapon. Oh my god, the two of you, get a room. <laughs> I love it. Not oh, so cute. What is the ultimate weapon? In order to clarify that, we first need to solve the secret of the funhouse. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what? Something very funny about that. It's just like they're solving a solving a murder case is because a robot was murdered. This is a robot version of a guy who was already killed, and then they've been in a strawberry in a grave house. And then the guy with the hamster is like, I'm the ultimate weapon. And then the chick that likes him is like, you should have are. And the guy who likes her is like, oh, fuck. <laughs> it's like, just there's so much stuff. And then it just, and then this line, in order to clarify that, we first need to solve the secret of the fun <laughs> house. You got it, Scooby-Doo. <laughs> cool, thanks. The two houses are connected to the tower in the middle. I thought that at first, too, but I ended up finding proof that completely contradicts that. <laughs> it just keeps going up. In truth, Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are mm -hmm. actually the exact same place. No, 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 they're not. They're not, though. What? Oh. Fuck! <laughs> there you go. No, that's wrong. No, shut up. <laughs> Don't tell her to shut up. Don't tell her she's wrong. Stop hmm. spouting falsehoods. Fal are they really false? the same place? Both of those towers. <laughs> Doesn't it seem strange? No. <laughs> Explain. In front of the door to Strawberry Hall. But then when we opened the door, it was not even there. It wasn't there. It wasn't there. It wasn't there. Bow down. Whoa. Damn. Nekomaru could have been moved piece by piece. I 
decree it was not a I'm doing it. I'm cutting through those words. Damn oh, it. Oh man, you can't miss one. Yeah, seriously. There are many different ways. Oh, you missed one. <laughs> oh, more cuts. Oh. Oh. Including the power, the color, the body, everything at the crime scene? Allow me to cut through those words. Yeah. Not everything. Physically moving all of the oil like that is simply not possible. No matter how you look at it. Man, it's fucking oh, fuck! <laughs> two for, oh, for two, I guess. Yeah. I cannot believe I got so fired up. It's just like when I killed Nekuma. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing we can do is rely on the one person who has those clues. Nagurno. Hey, Nagito. We need to eat. A Nagito burrito. <laughs> Nagito grinned creepily as he always does, yeah. as he retrieved a small digital camera from his inner See. pocket. What the? What doesn't make sense in this picture? Spot selection. Um, uh, all, all of, of it. it. <laughs> Jeez. <Here. laughs> I found it. Like the whole thing. <laughs> it's like if a Where's Waldo thing was just like a super close up of his face. <laughs> the reason the Guido appeared from the third floor. Using the photo he took, it might be able to find the answer if we just think about it. Alright, let's do this. Oh, is it fucking Hangman's Gambit? Oh no, we're doing- It's a logic dive! Yes! yes. Snowboard! Yes. Go! Jump? And jump? Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Strawberry House and Grape House both exist? They exist. They exist. Oh! All those right. Are, those are my dive results. All coming together! Okay, I just snowboarded. <laughs> <laughs> Totally what I was thinking. I'm back! Same building, different floors. Same shit, different day. <laughs> My dark Deva is sweating. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! Just like Strawberry House was on top of Grape House, Strawberry Tower was also on top of Grape Town. <laughs> yep. However, if they're different floors within the same building, why was Nekomaru's body in both places? One of the bodies in one of the towers. Golly, your hamsters. <laughs> a Whoops! Boom. No, that's wrong. Uh uh. <laughs> Miss Sonia's watching and everything. You look like a douche. <laughs> Idiot. You were disassembling Nekomaru's body at Great Tower, right? The no. You couldn't have known how you'd take apart his body. <laughs> She's just like <laughs> looking between Hajime and Miss Sonia, like, oh, da, 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 da. <laughs> Unless Kazuichi was the one who built the dummy, then it would be a different story. Oh, damn. Kazuichi is not the killer. He's way too stupid. He is stupid. <laughs> I'm even more disappointed. I'm even more disappointed. However, even if Neku However, she still likes me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my curl <laughs> <laughs> boy, boy. I moved to a different floor? Yes. You can't think of a device like that? Let the body move to a different floor. <laughs> Let the body move to a different floor. <laughs> a device like that? An elevator? <laughs> I feel like I've seen this before. Are we doing Hangman's Gambit? Okay, yeah, cool. It's usually nice. the really obvious one. Boop, ba -ba -da -ba 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 does ba -ba -ba elevator fit? It sure does. Another E? <laughs> Don't mind if I do do. Just another day in the shade for me. Use the A, use the A. Okay, oops, I destroyed it. Okay. <laughs> Shit! There goes one. Shit, fuck! <laughs> Shit! Shut fuck! Elevator! <laughs> 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 so the tower was designed so that the whole room goes up and down like an elevator. Yeah. This does make sense. The elevator was designed so only the floor moved. Only the floor moved? Only the floor moved. Only the floor moved? Only the floor moved. So only the floor moved. <laughs> You're right. Only, only the, the floor moved. moved. Only the floor moved. Only the ceiling moved. No, you're wrong! <laughs> <laughs> Allow me to cut through that word. <laughs> we finally solved the mystery of the elevator. So who I'm killed Nekomaro? Sure. Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> the killer wanted to keep us from learning that. That's why they made us stay away from Strawberry Tower. If that elevator moves vertically, then when your back is facing the elevator, both towers should be on the same side. It goes side. up and it wraps around, you dingus. Side Grape House. Grape Hall is on your right when your back is to the elevator. 
And inside Strawberry House, Strawberry Hall is on your left when your back is to the elevator. Now yes. who wants to get at this dick? <laughs> <laughs> Make a line. <laughs> Cue up. Which means Compass. The elevator wasn't just moving vertically. Oops. It was like flying all over the place. <laughs> Oh. Ah. Thanks to that, the tower we saw on our right side when we arrived at Grape House appeared on our left side when we were at Strawberry. It's the dumbest, most complicated elevator of all time. Where is the place befitting of the name Octagon? You get eight edges. It becomes an eight-sided shape. That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. Oh. It's the killer used the building structure as their weapon and killed Nekomaru. Ooh. What does this mean? How did the killer use that to murder Nekomaru? And who was the killer who did that? Some kind of jerk. Monami is a serious stufatly. Wow, you really got her. Wow. Got him. Sick burn. Can we resume the trial for murder now? <laughs> 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 Sorry, I didn't know you guys were a lot of fun. I never oh. expected the fun house itself to be the ultimate weapon. Oh well. Let's just <laughs> oh, on okay, whatever. There is no such thing as murder for the sake of hope. Murder is simply murder. I think I'd know. I just commit. <laughs> <laughs> I think he might have died from falling. <laughs> Saying he died from falling <laughs> is truly incorrect. You should burn in the flames of hell. Man, if it was Gundam, I'm really gonna miss him. And if they moved the elevator in that manner, Nekomaru would have just moved along. Not if they tied him with a wire, baby. That's what I was about to explain before Kazuichi. Before Kazuichi interrupted God, me. No one likes him. Doorknob on the floor seems suspicious. I consent. <laughs> Now, fuck me! <laughs> <laughs> that wire was tied into a loop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The elevator moved while that loop part hung from the doorknob. If, if they did something like that, he would have been suspended in midair! <gasps> mm -hmm. Yup. He's sweeping. Too <laughs> easy! Whoa, Whoa, easy now. If Nekomaru is suspended in midair like that, then how do you get him to fall? A fucking hamster could have crawled up there. Oh, <laughs> That's our answer for everything. Thanks, Kajuichi. I think I figured it out. Now come at me with the same. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Time for my closing argument. Oops. Nekamaro should have still been in slave mode, right? No. Woke up. Cut through those words. The killer set the alarm before they suspended Nekamaro. Oh! The killer didn't expect the doorknob to come off. The reason that even happened was because. Just the weight of him? In that case, I'll shoot my bull power. Ooh! Oh! Wait, it isn't cracking? If you break off the doorknob, we'll be stuck in here. Oh, had he loosened it? I'm just a pest. No, I'm not just a pest. Uh, soda. A total fucking pig. Soda. Yeah, you are. You're not pig. Right, pig don't have pigs don't have gross sharp pig. teeth. <laughs> no, I believe you gave your all. Pig. Fuck. No, I don't <laughs> want compliments. Hey, why aren't you teasing me anymore? This guy, he gets off on this. <laughs> I'll fucking kill him. Yeah. So I'll fucking jerk him. <laughs> I'm positive the alarm was set for 7:30 a.m. And if we map it out from there. Hold on, baby gangsta. <laughs> Please Damn. keep calling me that. <laughs> Stop calling me baby gangsta. Unless you intend to nurse me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I... <laughs> I looked for Grape Tower before 7 a.m. And if we found Nekomaru's body there, it would have been before the 7.30 a.m. alarm went off. It appears yet another contradiction has been birthed. Birth. Mazel tov. <laughs> <laughs> I'll name him Jim. <laughs> there should definitely be a clue to breaking through this contradiction. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Clock inside Nekomaru's chest. Whoops. It's like the only thing you no, could shoot. Yeah. I checked all the clocks inside the fun house. Oh, that's what I asked you to do. So you really listened to me and checked all the clocks. God, I hope you're the murderer. I should doubt the clock. There's no mistake that something was done, but what was it? If I focus and think, 
I should be able to find the answer to that mystery. Snowboard time! Which house had the wrong time? Both houses. Duh. Fuck. <laughs> this reminds me of Sonic Heroes. You loved that game. The, the yellow, red, and blue. Oh yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, you love that game. <laughs> Sonic <laughs> Hero! Sonic Heroes! It's all coming together! You're guilty of murder! Alright guys, I'm back! <laughs> After shredding some sweet gnar, I can confidently say... <laughs> I see. So the killer messed with the time inside the whole building by changing- Oh, the clock. amazing deduction. How'd you come up with that? <laughs> so that's what it was. There's no way I would have noticed that. Oh yeah, didn't- The that? killer messed with all the clocks. I see. So he messed with all the clocks. <laughs> Yes! I need to clarify by how much the time was off after the killer messed with the clocks. Is that- I'm just gonna make Hajime's voice that <laughs> That's don't. definitely Please the don't. next mystery. Uh oh. I'm going to reach the truth in one go. The big naughty truth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. Whoop. I agree with that! Boom, baby! <laughs> Sony's like, fuck yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah. Right. I think I like hedging me now. <laughs> what? <laughs> that sound everyone heard? I did not hear it at all. Huh? You probably didn't really? hear it because you were sleeping. I could not sleep at all. <laughs> I, I remember because I was smelling. Yeah, I'm in. Mean. <laughs> <laughs> if that rumbling sound we heard was at 5.30 a.m. It's like the answer to how much our time was off is literally right in front of me. Two hours. I see. Seven minus five is two! For what reason did the killer alter our perception of time? I'll have to ask myself. <laughs> I <laughs> mean... Um... <laughs> um. <laughs> Nekomaru. Lure out, only Nekomaru. Oh. You witnessed Nekomaru going toward the tower. Did something else happen after that? I went into my room and... Curiously, ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Nekomaru died when the rumble happened. Then whoever doesn't have an alibi at the time is the prime suspect. Oh fuck! Who is it? Uh, I guess it's Gundam, right? Uh, no. Um, oh, oh no! Okay. It wasn't Gundam. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He's not the one who doesn't have an alibi. He's oh. not the one who's so far away. Okay, cool. Oh. I guess I'll just. Go around accusing everyone until someone's um. like, oh shit. You're the only No! Oh. No way! The one who wasn't. It's the Guido! Oh yeah, he wasn't in the Yeah! Picture. Holy shit! Please, say something! I love you! <laughs> <laughs> You've always been my favorite! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I never even heard that rumbling sound. Because I was slamming Miss Sonia! <laughs> Remember? What? She didn't hear it either. I was in a pretty deep sleep, so I thought that's why I couldn't hear it, but it wasn't that. I probably couldn't hear it at all. If Chucky turns out to be a murderer in one of these cases, I truly know nothing. The only people who didn't hear the rumbling noise were Nikito, Sonya, and Chucky. Secret is, what do these three have in common? <laughs> Deluxe rooms. Now I'll show you! The guest rooms are divided up by quality grade. The deluxe room is soundproof and has excellent air insulation. You guys must understand by now, right? The true uh, identity yes! Somehow I feel like I understand what Nagito means. The killer among us. The killer who murdered Nekomaru. Oh, fuck. We just did this! No! No! <laughs> fuck! <laughs> Ah, son of a bitch! Oh! When the alarm rang at the Strawberry House Lounge, you rushed over. Fuck there too. suction! Gundam's always fucky sucky, forgetting to cover up their shit. <laughs> God damn it! Why were you able to hear it? Hear what? I mean, you were also staying in a deluxe room. Right? Oh shit! Gundam? What? What? He was a fucking robot. Yeah. <laughs> He's just trying to get out, man. Is it really murder? After you saw Nekomaru heading to the tower, you stayed at the lounge for a while. Am I correct? Until the moment that alarm started ringing, right? The killer still needed to prepare the murder in advance. Oh, I'm so bummed out. <laughs> Once they tried to go back, they couldn't because Fuyuhiko was at the lounge. But why'd you come out? You should have hid till the excitement died down. 
If Gundam tried to hide, and if those two went to his room to check on him, he would have been found out. The moment Fuyuhiko set foot in the lounge, your plan was doomed. Mm. Can I strangle you with my scarf before I go? I possess ten ears. That means I have five times the hearing <laughs> of a normal human. The soundproof system here may as well not exist. I love the hamster who's just like, We killed a guy! <laughs> do you understand the situation you're in right now? D do not No. The truth shall now... Who's end. panicking? <laughs> this class trial, this killing, it's merely the opening act, you know. Hey! What do you mean the class trial is just the opening act? <laughs> hey, fuck yeah, you, man. I've worked really hard on this. <laughs> oh, I'll kill you! <laughs> Please hold on! We have yet to hear Gundam's rebuttal! I told you! I was shooting poopies! <laughs> How would I be able to travel between both houses anyway? If the elevator was broken at Grape House, he wouldn't be able to return to Strawberry House. Was? <laughs> the only means of travel between the two... No, you're wrong! Oh, Boop! Secret passageway! Mm-mm, mm-mm, secret passageway! <laughs> no, 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 I'm so sorry. That's the person who actually used that method. You're the only one! Not really! Gundam 2! <laughs> you You're the only one! Who knows how someone else did the killing! <laughs> After I opened the door and went down... Surprise, surprise! I ended up in the Monokuma Archive, which is on the third floor of Grape House. Once you've cleared the final dead room once, you can pass through it as many times as you want. They could have gone between the two houses as much as they want. Infinity Unlimited Flame! <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that? I'm gonna miss him. What if the killer was unaware of the existence of the final dead room? There's no way they didn't know. How do you know I didn't know? Yeah. Uh, Your decayed illusion. <laughs> Shall I feed you to the- Oh, God damn it. Deities? Wait, hey. I can't back down. There we go. Okay. Whew. Oh. <laughs> ah! Oh, come on. <laughs> Even if Ah, oh, jeez. You don't want to drown in the mail. Whoops. Allow me to cut through those words. Ah. Uh, you mean allow me to cut through those words? I'm pretty sure I saw stuff like wires, hammers, and chains, too. Oh, my. Since those items were used in the crime, there's no doubt that the killer went to the octagon. I didn't go to the octagon. <laughs> Even the hamsters are sweating. Aw. Oh, God. So Gundam's gone. I'm going to be stuck now. with fucking Nagito for another 20 episodes. <laughs> Shoot me in the head. Over to Strawberry Tower. Okay. Just like we did when we found out the elevator was broken. Okay. Well, it's obvious he'd attempt that. Just <laughs> like drooling with like a blank stick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 place. By pressing the goodnight button, he rendered Nekomaru powerless without fighting him. Mm. Hold on! You, you what did you just say? <laughs> that I didn't battle? Hmm. What's wrong with that? Cause I fucking rule! <laughs> always battle. You still don't understand anything at all! Damn. I didn't murder anyone, he's a fucking robot! <laughs> <laughs> just broke a computer! Maybe I'm just a human destined for hell. However, I cannot finish just yet. I cannot finish! I need to choke myself yeah. first! Other guys have that problem. That button was on the back of Nekumaru's neck. To press it, I'd have to get behind him. Like a hamster could do. Yeah. Uh, the four Dark Davis. The four Dark Davis. This is the end! <gasps> oh! My hamsters. Are you seriously saying he used his hamsters to press the button on the back of Nekomaru's- Listen, Fuyuhiko, we didn't write this game. <laughs> You're the one who's in it. Victory can only be built on the foundation of corpses. <laughs> I love this guy. Now, trample this light! Trample it as though it were mere trash on the side of the road! Pull the curtain strings of this worthless performance with your own two hands! Who could it be? Who is the Shadow Man? I just love that they gave the hamsters little red eyes, too. <laughs> man, who successful. has the fucking patience to do this at 5 a.m.? I know, right? I can barely hit the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> and that person... Boom, baby. Is, is he gonna be holding hamsters? Of course. Boom, oh, baby. No. Oh, well, all right. <laughs> oh, they look all sad. For a mere human, you did quite well. Stop. 
Stop it already. My beloved, deadly foes, let the voting time begin. Well, he definitely does take it <laughs> head on. Yeah. All right, fuck faces. <laughs> <laughs> Vote for me. Let's I do this. I did it. Sonia. <laughs> Kring, bring, ka-ching. Now that we've decided who the killer is, let's do the execution already and get this over with. Let's make sure that this game ends only with characters that Aaron voices. <laughs> That'll make his throat feel really good. For honor's sake, I shall correct one thing. I didn't do it. <laughs> Nekumaru did fight. That is no mistake. We fought using Tai Chi against each other. It was the longest, slowest <laughs> fight in history. <laughs> yes! Nekumaro and I were alone in the tower, standing face to face with one another, steaming with fightiness. <laughs> in that situation, if he wanted to run away, it would have been easy for him to do so. He could have run away, or even called for help, but he did not turn his back to me. A fight that risked life and death? Yes. God, I want you right before you die. <laughs> Do you intend to resolve this situation by killing me? Yes. Heroes, lords of darkness, and even the gods themselves flee from me. I do not cling to any trivial reason. I'm simply going to kill you because your very existence is an annoyance. This is how you go out with style. That must have been the slowest, most pathetic fight ever. <laughs> I'm going to get you. Why did you fight? <sighs> we are all friends. You need to stop saying that. What's the point of living if you're just waiting until you finally die? That's not fucking metal. Like this bitch. <laughs> wait, are you telling us to just wait until we starve to death? I'd rather have that happen to us than have our friends kill each other. However, nothing is born from resignation. That is simply a reason to give up. So I figured I'd kill the one that wasn't a her human. A <laughs> her human. <laughs> Giving up on life. That's just an insult to life itself. Many creatures at some point in their lifespan engage in cannibalism. Listen well. That is what it means to live. Hell if, yeah. If you Let's eat people. If you say killing for the sake of living is evil, then what would you call giving up on life itself? Like, right? Like, you would eat a person if you had that option. I don't think I would. Well, that's what he's talking about. He's talking about the larger idea of killing to survive. Yeah. But, like, you need a guy, right? <laughs> no! What? Just push the button. You know, after listening to you talk for a while, I'm starting to think that you're kind of hot. <laughs> <laughs> Who can blame you? <laughs> well, it's also because you unexpectedly admitted your crime without much resistance. Gundam, don't tell me you. You didn't sacrifice yourself for our sake, did you? Just who do you think I am? I am Gundam Tanaka, history's greatest monster. No, he's a good guy. Oh, this is making me love him even more. My cursed existence is feared by all mankind. He just can't admit it. There's no way I'd sacrifice myself for the sake of you fools. Monokuma, let us begin. Okay. Please wait. This is just too much. Can I just... I, let me just get one nut. I just need one nut with him. Please, I beg of you. Forget that cuck soda. Sonia, an act as unrefined as stopping a man from going to his death does not befit a noble such as yourself. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Gundam! God, just fucking... Just do it! I need it! <laughs> I need it! Are you worried about Oh, this? don't make me cry. That is Gundam Tanaka! I shall stick with my evil until the very end! Open Sesame Pandemonium! <laughs> Um, I shall fill hell with true hell! He's definitely going to heaven. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Fuck! Damn it! <laughs> it's punishment time! Woo! Oh, and now the fruit buffalo. I will face it. Oh, not the hamsters! Oh, uh, God! This is so sad! Whoa. No! Oh, fuck! He wasn't actually just like a weird dork! <laughs> I think he was just a weird dork. Oh, okay, maybe. <laughs> oh! No! Carry on without me. Oh, man. I love you. Oh, <laughs> my God! I'm actually gonna shed a tear. I'm actually <laughs> shedding tears right now. No, he's going to yeah, heaven! Yeah, he's going to heaven! heaven. <laughs> he's fuck! going to heaven! Oh. God damn this! <laughs> oh, my God! 
without a doubt, like one of my favorite characters of any game ever. <laughs> to Allie, can you confirm that my eyes are filled with tears yeah. right now? Yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah. I can't help it. <laughs> oh, man. It's such a downer, clearly. But still, even though we feel this way, we still got to do our very best. You are right. We all like liked Gundam, right? Like, yeah, like, it's cool. Like everyone wanted to bone him, right? <laughs> like Move forward. Live. Like Tanaka wanted us to. If you don't, everyone who fought and died will have died in vain. We can't allow that. All right, after feeling down for so long, finally feel refreshed. Let's hurry back and eat some food. Fuck Nikamaru. Who cares? <laughs> oh, Nagito. <laughs> yup, I'm definitely lucky. Barf. <laughs> Thanks to that, I was able to learn the identity of a true enemy, and before everyone else too. There's no way the file had just Hajime's information. Anyway, I can't forgive this. This should never be forgiven. There's no way I can let this run loose. I'll be the one who stops this once and for all. I'm the Foundation member. I'll throw <laughs> myself in the toilet. Thanks for coming. What's this? Why is it the lonely little Nagito? Are you all alone tonight too? What's the matter? So what's up? Your face looks scary. Your face looks scary. <laughs> there was information about 16 people in the file I received. But isn't that weird? Say what? Well, that's weird. You don't even well, there's know. a traitor from the Future Foundation hiding among us, right? No, oh, here isn't we go. Right. But this file contains documents that were created at Hope Speak Academy, right? Of course! If this file even contains information about the traitor, was that person also a former student of Hope Speak Academy? <laughs> I wonder. Hey. Could it be? <laughs> Is this your doing? Did you slip false information into the file? Have you been a naughty bear? You already know who the traitor is. Hmm? Oh, what's wrong with that? You're getting oh, well, you're splendidly up. correct when you say I knew who the traitor was all along. But even though I know who it is, why do you think I ignored it on purpose? Hmm. It's just like Monomi after losing her magic stick. The traitor's existence means absolutely nothing to me. I came here to offer my cooperation. Your purpose is to fill everyone on this island with despair, right? That's why you're intentionally letting the traitor do as they please, right? Yup. Uh, yup, yup. I... If that's the case, I might be able to cooperate somewhat too. Right. On account of that, I'm the traitor. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, that's a big no no. Unbeam. I mean, I want to make everyone in your group feel despair. That includes you. I actually think I'm very lucky. Say I mean, we matched on Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> huh? That was you? <laughs> if I can eliminate despair from this island, I won't be a stepladder anymore. I'll become true hope. <laughs> I'll become an existence that can be called the ultimate hope. <laughs> Two of you are like, you definitely remind me of him. Who are you waiting for on this island? Huh? <laughs> Looks like I'm right again. You're definitely waiting for someone on this island. <laughs> Wouldn't that be exciting? Answer my question, murder bear, who's under no obligation to answer any question I pose. All right, fine. <laughs> 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 Oof, we're getting down to it now. Five days left. Oh, <laughs> adios, Gundam. Seven. At least he got a super rad death. Allie's going to show us a thing. Hi, Game Grumps. This is Chris Turgliaffera, the voice oh actor from Gundam God. Tanaka. Your fan Emily got you this cameo. And I've been watching your Danganronpa streams, and they're highly entertaining. Really? <laughs> they're making me laugh a lot. They're not making everybody laugh, though. And they're here to tell you about it. Dan and Aaron, it is I, the Supreme Overlord of Ice Gundam. This guy is awesome. <laughs> I saw the little video of my intro and what you said about it. When you were guessing my name, you chose to say that I was Bruce Dracula or Steve. Do I look and sound like a Steve? Do I look and sound like Bruce Dracula? Maybe a little. But what else would I expect from two people whose handles are Aaron, Ego Raptor, <laughs> how clever, <laughs> and Dan as Danny Sexbane of the band Ninja <gasps> Sex Party? Ugh. Anyway, do not disrespect my name again. However, I will say, Dan, thank you for being a fan of The Voice. But one last thing I will leave you with. My Dark Davis would never, ever eat hot <laughs> chips. That stale cardboard. I do not care what they dust it with. It is vile. And also, I heard you suggested one of my Davis was a murderer in a trial. <laughs> How preposterous. <laughs> Enjoy your time on Jabberwock.
Wow, that's <laughs> fantastic. What a talented voice actor. That's a great cameo. 